this video, we will show you how to save precious seconds while answering verbal reasoning questions that involve numbers. For example, if we are faced with a true, false or can't tell question, such as 70% of the staff at Stepping Hill Hospital are on full-time contracts, we could use number scanning to help us answer correctly within 10 to 20 seconds. In this video, our objectives are to demonstrate how to scan for relevant data in written numbers and give an example of the time-saving nature of number scanning. My first tip for the true, false or can't tell question type is that you do not need to understand the passage in as much detail as you do for a question with four answer options. Instead, you can save time by not reading the passage in full. First, ignore the passage. Start with the first statement, identify keywords, and then scan the passage for where these appear. Read just before and after the keywords to decide whether the passage supports your statement or not. Numbers make great keywords to scan for, as they are usually easy to identify from surrounding text. Number scanning is the skill of quickly noting all the data in a text that might be relevant to the question being asked. So far, I have been talking about the true, false or can't tell question type. However, even in a question with four answer options where you started by reading the passage in full, scanning back for important numbers from a question is much more reliable than trying to remember everything. It is far better to quickly remind yourselves of the data points in the text than just to answer based on what seems plausible. But number scanning is more than just looking for the number directly mentioned in the question. In the case of the Stepping Hill Hospital question, you would need to spend about five seconds to steadily scan your eyes through the text to look not just for the term 70%, but also for any other percentage or proportion that could be relevant. For example, if the text included the data point that 42% of the staff are part-time, we would choose false as the answer to the question, even though the quoted text does not involve the number 70%. It follows that if 42% of the staff are part-time, then at most 58% of the staff are full-time, not 70%. The question might require you to do some simple maths, such as this, with the figures in the passage. It's also worth paying attention to any written numbers that might evade a number scan, such as a third and two years. These written numbers are harder to spot, but can also prove crucial to answering the question. For example, if we read that three quarters of the staff at Stepping Hill Hospital are full time, we can quickly translate three quarters into 75% and be alert for the relevance of that percentage. Let us now turn to a sample verbal reasoning question to see how we can use number scanning during the UCAT exam. Try the next question and see if you can do it within 20 seconds. The question asked about the figure of 7 million for the number of vegetarians in the UK. I am sure you noticed, while number scanning, the figure of 66 million for the population of the UK. You may have subsequently decided that the answer to the question is, can't tell, on the basis that the exact figure of 7 million is not mentioned anywhere. However, number scanning is about more than just looking for the exact figure mentioned in the question. It's about finding other relevant data. The text also contains some other numbers that you might have spotted using number scanning. While most recent studies have indicated that vegetarians comprise approximately 3% of the population, the range of values for this figure has varied somewhere between 2% and 5%. The range of values between 2% and 5% for the percentage of vegetarians is particularly relevant here. If the highest estimate given by recent studies was that vegetarians comprise 5% of UK population, some quick maths can tell us that this is far below 7 million people. It is straightforward to work out that 10% of the UK population of 66 million is 6.6 .6 million. This means that even if vegetarians were 10% of the UK population, there wouldn't be 7 million of them. As the highest estimate among the recent studies was 5%, we can safely say that the studies do not show that there may be 7 million vegetarians in the UK. Often a passage may refer to certain dates. Number scanning can be useful here too. The UCAT is fond of referring to centuries and decades in questions. 
while the passage may mention a specific year. For example, a statement could read, the Industrial Revolution began in the 18th century. In the main passage, there may be no mention of a century, but instead it could state the year or range of years in which the Industrial Revolution began. The first phase of the Industrial Revolution took place in England, sometime between 1760 and 1780. Using number scanning to scan for 18th century will not get you very far, but knowing that the 18th century is between 1701 and 1800 will help you as you can scan for these dates. Always subtract a 1 from a century to find the first digit of the start of a range. The 13th century begins with 1200, for example. In our example, the Industrial Revolution began between 1760 to 1780, making our statement correct. By quickly ascertaining what the data points in the question were, we were able to confidently answer the question in a very short space of time. This brings us to the end of this video. In the last five minutes, we've seen how number scanning can refresh our awareness of the data in the text, and we have noticed that it's not just a figure in the question that you should scan for, but any other numbers, including written numbers, that may be relevant. In a true, false or can't tell question, you can use this same technique to scan for any keyword from a statement and save time by not reading the passage in full. Make sure you scan all the way to the end of the text in case your keywords appear more than once. Remember though that most of the questions you will see on test day will have four answer choices and for these there is unfortunately no substitute for actual understanding of the text and you should start by reading the passage in full. I hope you now feel more confident in answering numerically oriented verbal reasoning questions quickly and how number scanning can see you valuable seconds during the time pressured UK CAT exam. As always, keep practicing with mock questions to improve your scores and good luck.